You've been lied to about math. Not in the way that your teachers meant well but failed to teach you effectively, no. You've been systematically conditioned to believe that being good at math is about talent or IQ or being some kind of math person. Let's tear that myth down today. Because here's the truth. Math is not about talent. Math is about training. And the secret lies not in what you study, but how you study it. Now, I want you to pause for a second. Think about how you've approached math so far. Maybe you've sat through boring lectures. Maybe you've highlighted formulas. Maybe you've watched videos at 2x speed hoping something would stick. But if you're like most people, you still feel like math doesn't click. It feels like a fog you just can't cut through. And here's the first hard truth. You've been studying math like a subject. But math isn't a subject. It's a language of logic. It's a skill, like music, like martial arts, like chess. Let me repeat that. Math is a skill, and skills are built by doing not by reading, not by watching, and definitely not by memorizing. Now this is where we get into the so-called Asian secret. Let's cut through the stereotypes and get to the core. What is it that consistently helps top performing Asian students dominate in mathematics? It's not genetics. It's not just discipline. It's a specific way of training their brain to think in patterns, to develop mathematical intuition the same way you develop muscle memory. You see, in countries like Japan, Korea, China, India, Singapore, math is not treated as study material. It's treated like a mental gym. Every problem is a weight, every mistake is a rep, and repetition is king. In fact, the core idea behind this secret is simple but powerful. Mastery comes from overlearning, not just understanding. Asian learners don't just solve one type of problem and move on, they solve 10. 20, 50 variations of that same concept until it becomes instinctive, until they can see the answer before writing it down. It's not brute memorization, it's deep encoding into the brain. And you know what's fascinating? This isn't even cultural, it's psychological. The brain thrives on pattern recognition and deliberate struggle. The more you train a concept until it hurts, the more your brain rewires itself to handle it effortlessly in the future. But here's the catch. And this is what schools never taught you. If math feels easy, you're not learning. If math feels hard, you're getting stronger. Let that sink in, because this mindset shift is the biggest unlock you can ever have. You're not dumb at math, you're just not training right. You've been doing yoga with a textbook instead of actually stretching. You've been watching boxing videos and wondering why you can't land a punch. You've been exposed to math, but never engaged with it the way it's meant to be. But that changes today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your math brain like a machine, using real hacks, scientifically backed techniques, and yes, insights borrowed from the best learning systems around the world. You'll discover how to make problems stick, how to never forget formulas, and how to break through plateaus that have haunted you for years. And by the end of it, if you apply these principles, you'll not only understand math better, you'll start to enjoy it. You'll start to crave that next problem. Because when you study it right, math doesn't stay a wall. It becomes a game. This is more than a study method. This is a mental transformation, and it begins right now. Part 1. Stop studying. Start training. Let me ask you this. Would you try to become good at swimming by reading a manual? Would you expect to become a pianist by just watching piano tutorials? Then why do you think you can learn math by just watching lectures or reading formulas? This is training, not studying. And the first rule of training is this. Every time you see a new concept, don't just understand it, drill it. Let's say you learn about factoring quadratic equations. Most students solve three examples and move on but not the top performers. They solve 15, 20, even 30, and not identical problems, but gradually increasing difficulty, twisting the problem each time. This burns the logic into your brain, so the next time you face a hard version of the same topic, your mind isn't guessing. It's recognizing a pattern it has seen before. Hack number one, deliberate variation practice. Every time you learn a concept, 
Solve three easy questions, three medium with traps, three reverse questions, solve backwards, three mixed with older topics. This builds adaptability, not just memory. Part two, don't memorize formulas, derive them. One of the dumbest things schools teach you is to memorize formulas blindly. But top students do the opposite. They ask, where did this come from? Can I rederive this myself from scratch? What happens if I change one part of this formula? This is how you build intuitive math power. Here's an example. Instead of just memorizing the quadratic formula, try deriving it by completing the square. It takes time at first, but the process wires the logic deep into your brain. Hack number two, reverse derivation challenge. Every time you use a formula, pause and ask yourself, can I rebuild it from base principles without looking it up? Even if you fail, your brain gets training reps. This one change will make you unstoppable. Part three, the recall, reflect, refine loop. You don't get better by solving questions. You get better by analyzing your solutions. Here's how most students solve math. One, try question. Two, if wrong, look at solution. Three, numbly move on. But here's how the top 1% do it. Step one, recall. After solving, even correctly, Try to re-solve it 15 minutes later from memory. Step two, reflect. Ask, what mistake did I make? What trick did I miss? What assumption tripped me up? Step three, refine. Create your own version of the question by changing numbers, reversing steps, or combining with other topics. This loop makes your brain smarter, not just your memory sharper. Part four, spiral instead of stack. Most students treat math like this. Topic A, Topic B, Topic C, TESS. But this is stacked learning, and it fails you in exams where questions mix everything together. Top math learners use spiral learning. That means constantly revisiting old topics as you learn new ones, mixing topics in your daily problem set, Solving problems that connect algebra with geometry or calculus with trigonometry. Hack number four, the 30 to 70 rule. In every study session, spend 30% of your time revising older topics, 70% on new topics. This builds a web of understanding, not isolated chunks. Part five, the time pressure game. Let's talk about real pressure. You don't just need to solve math problems. You need to solve them fast, under stress, without hesitation. That's why one of the best hacks is to introduce artificial time pressure. Give yourself less time than you're comfortable with. Set a timer. Force your brain to get faster. It will adapt. Because that's how the brain works under constraint. Hack number five. Time box drills. Five questions, seven minutes. Ten questions, ten minutes. 20 question sprint challenge. This turns your study session into a competition against your brain's limits. Part six, the Asian discipline frame. Finally, let's address the cultural part. You've heard this before. Asians are disciplined, but here's the part no one tells you. Discipline is not genetic or cultural. It's ritual based. In Asian math training systems, students, Study at fixed times every day. Use notebooks dedicated only to mistake tracking. Maintain a wrong answers journal where they rewrite and reflect on every mistake ever made. Maintain a wrong answers journal where they rewrite and reflect on every mistake ever made. Want to get better at math fast? Hack number six, the mistake logbook. Every time you mess up, log. The question, your mistake, the fixed logic, Review this once a week. This single habit will eliminate repeated errors and double your learning speed. Let's summarize the system. One, drill deeply with variations. Two, derive, don't memorize. Three, reflect on every solution. Four, 
Spiral old with new. 5. Practice under time pressure. 6. Track your mistakes ruthlessly. This is not casual study. This is how you train your brain into becoming a math machine, not overnight but faster than you think. Because once you do this, consistently, math stops being a mystery. It becomes your second language. Let me leave you with one question. What's the one math topic that's haunted you the most? The one that still makes you freeze or doubt yourself? Drop it in the comments. Let's be real. Everyone's fighting their own math monster. But the difference? Some people train to slay it. Others run from it. If you're still here, you're not a runner. You're ready to rewire. So, let's do it together. Comment your biggest struggle. I might turn it into the next breakdown. And hey, you just learned more in 10 minutes than most do in 10 months. This isn't the end. It's your new beginning.